It was 1994 when it all began, an idea that became a reality and sparked something special. A story for the books that shows what happens when you see a need and go out and make the solution. That is the PETA jungle story that many to this day don't know. Basil Osmani and his roommates, Fouad and Nelly, were attending ASU, finishing up their degrees and were in search of more healthy food options in the area. Throughout our long student career, we worked in restaurants, in hotels, in hospitality in general. The last four years, both Fouad and I worked in Middle Eastern slash Mediterranean restaurants, mom and pop type, you know, that had delicious food, but everyone that was craving it but didn't know yet that they wanted that. They continued to see people frequenting these spots and wanting simple, clean, and fresh food too. You know, you're talking early 90s. The med diet was not on the radar screen yet, but working in, in a restaurant that served those type of food, you could, you could see the interest by people who knew exactly what they wanted. They put their minds together and began to cultivate a plan to open a spot to fill the need for healthy food. What's wrong? rolling out a meal that captures all the essential elements of a healthy diet, including freshness, quantity, abundance, and most importantly, value. And that's what we solved for. And we've built a menu to answer this specific constraint. The very first location opened up in Tempe, in a small space that had the basics, but needed some serious work. We mustered all our financial resources between the three of us. $22,000 of which 10 was in cash and 12 in Home Depot credit card and put together like a, a nice little restaurant. It was humble beginnings. They all served, cooked and worked together. We lived in the same house. We drove the same car, so, but we would go back and forth. You know, someone would get there at, at, at four to op set up for breakfast and then the other person would do the lunch. One of the early things they did was connect with the art school at ASU. It was a win for all. They adorn the walls with art and the artists get to showcase their work and sell it there for free. This is something they still do to this day at every location. Now, nearly 30 years later, the same work ethic and mission to bring clean and healthy food to their community continues to guide them. They have a total of 23 locations around the valley. All still have that boutique and one of a kind feel. Their Park West location in Peoria came onto the scene four years ago. It's a gorgeous space with lots of natural lighting, a roomy bar, and a patio too. Okay, this is one of those no way moments. This location only has a pita maker and griddle. So everything just comes out hot and fresh. And Basil, you're gonna show me how to do it. Actually, you're gonna make me work for my pita today. Yes, yes, <laughs> you're gonna do it. So, so you're gonna grab the dough, which, which is, which is fl flour, water, oil, and And I salt. put it in here? Yep, and, and don't forget to grab it because I made this mistake a minute ago. Okay, do I put it in again? Yeah, in different directions. There Kinda you go. Kind of stretch it like it's pizza dough. Victor's like, I haven't, no, I don't think I'm gonna hire you yet, but keep working, okay. Next, it goes on to the hot griddle for a couple of minutes. Yeah, I think it's ready for you. Good. It's ready for you. Should we take it off? Yeah, do it for it. Okay, I'm scared. Ooh, and then it's gotta rest here for a sec. Okay, then I can eat it, right? Yeah, yeah, cut into it, yeah. Okay, oh my, oh, stop it. Okay, here we go. They good? Yeah. Oh, isn't it good? What's well, nothing better? Tell me something better than hot pressed pita. That's it. We found it. There's a reason you've been around 30 years. There are a million reasons they have been around this long. The food seals the deal. One glance at the menu and a taste of anything will make you a fan for life. From their homemade hummus that takes three days to make, to their bountiful salads that are filled to the brim with veggies and proteins, to the tapas that give you a little taste of everything. Shawarma wraps and lavash pizzas and even the kids' meals are light and fresh. They've even got their own wine, and you'll find that behind the bar as well as cocktails too. It's pretty inspiring to see a success story like theirs, from the idea to the vision to the effort and determination it took to bring it to reality. They never quit and look at what it is today. I think we can all glean something from their tenacity and agree how grateful we are that these three took that leap long ago to bring healthy and delicious food to the valley.